What's going on everybody? So I made a video about two years ago about how to do the Mirage effect on those of you running a uh, Wraith Prism cooler on your computers. It's this video right here if you want to check it out. And while I did go through how to like set up the software and use the software to create the lighting effect, I never really talked about actually connecting a computer. I didn't even think about it to be honest with you until I started seeing a lot of comments from people saying that uh, when they would download the software and go to run it, it would say, please connect your CM device or plug in your CM device when clearly they had it plugged in. I've answered a lot of this in the comments and I put in the description of the video how to fix it and why the error is occurring. But after two years, I figured it's time to make a video about it. So this is gonna be a real quick walkthrough of why you're getting that message and how to properly connect your Wraith Prism cooler so you can use the CM software with it. So let's get into it real quick. All right, so this is my cooler in the computer. It's already hooked up. Uh, I got my phone light here so you'll be able to see, but I'm gonna show you real quick. As you can see with the orientation, with the AMD in the top left. When you take this fan out of the box, it has one cable that's attached to it. That's the power cable. You have two extra cables in the box. One is an RGB, one is a USB. If you plan on using your motherboard's built-in software to synchronize your lighting with your fans and everything else, that's when you would use the RGB cable that comes with the fan. Now, when you're looking at the bottom of the fan, you see there's two plugs. The one on the left right here, that is where the RGB cable would plug in. To use the Cooler Master software that gets this effect, you have to use the USB cable, which is the one on the right. And that'll connect to a USB header on your motherboard. If you connect both of these, the only one it's gonna read is your RGB. So this is not gonna work. If you wanna use the Cooler Master software to get an effect like this, only connect the USB cable. Do not connect the RGB. When you're putting your computer together, you wanna think about if you wanna use the Cooler Master software or you wanna use your motherboard software. So in my case, if I wanted to use ASUS Aura Sync to control the lighting on my fan, I won't be able to get near the effects that I can get with the Cooler Master software. But in that case, I would hook it up with the RGB and I'd be able to power it through the motherboard, control it through the motherboard. But to use the Cooler Master software to get the uh, Mirage effect and all that, you only connect the USB cable, do not connect the RGB, and you'll be able to use the software as intended. I hope that helped. I hope that cleared up some things. Sorry this video is two years late, but better late than never, I guess. So. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.